Hello, I'm King Rock, and welcome to my live show. Here I'm using the Jazzmusant Lima as the master controller controlling Ableton Live. I'm triggering drum samples and sounds via the MPC-1000 going through a Boss DD7 delay pedal. And for effects, I'm using the Chaos Pad 2 and the Chaos Later. And now I'll show you a bit more about how I have my Lima set up and how I use it in conjunction with Ableton. Uh, the first thing you'll see is that if we look at Ableton, you can see that I've split my show into, there are nine channels running. We have the kick channel, the clap channel, hat, perks, bass, melody A, B, C, and D, which effectively is everything but drums and bass. Uh, so effects and stuff like that as well. Um, what you can set, then see, obviously, in comparison to the Lima, is I have set up all of the volume channels for each part, and I can then control each element as they come in and out and pull things up and down as I choose uh, to give me a bit more freedom. Um, so let me give you a sample. So if I, uh, if I press play on this one, which is here. Let me bring the pass down. So, pretty basic, it's a kick channel. Um, I think obviously, with, oh, let me go to some other percussion to show you what I've done with my effects. So I've got my clap as well. Now with the clap, clap's a good one to show you what I have with my send effects. So my send effects are this box up the top here. I have two types of delay. Um, one's a beat repeat, one's a stereo delay. I have a, a long reverb, a high cut, and then my synth send. Um, so let me give you an example of what that sounds like. So you get the idea, and send reverb. Um, I've set these up in a way that, if, as you see the pattern, they, they, you can just use your finger to control all of the elements together. So it's almost like add, you can add the delay to several things at once. I've got a separate page set up where you can apply uh, individual sends to individual channels. I'll show you that in a moment. So let me bring in some more drums. Then we go our hat pattern. And then we have percussion. Obviously, I can solo those if I want. So yeah, you get the idea. Let me bring in some other parts so we go with the bass. Just a little sub thing, nothing too subtle. Sorry, nothing too big. <laughs> Very subtle in fact. Uh, let me go with some melodies here, see what we got. So there we can see I've got my full loop. And then, for example, in a standard show, what I could do is if I'm running this, pull down the kick and the bass, maybe do some effects. Here's my low cut, I'll come back, and come back to this in a moment. So you can do these fills throughout the show to keep loops rolling. So, because obviously the point is when you arrange a track in the studio, you put in all of this detail to make a track, a loop, last seven minutes. And I've scrapped all of that stuff and I've tried to lay my show out in a way where all I do is bounce the loops individually and then I try to recreate a format, a form of the original track in the live show. But it always sounds a little bit different and it's a bit more rough. It doesn't have the perfection that maybe a finished studio produced track has, but it gives me the opportunity to uh, put a little bit more into the live show. So, uh, let me bring out some of those parts and I'll show you some of the other, other parts of the other controls I have in my effects. So, as I showed you earlier, here I have on my master uh, effects box, I have a low cut. If I want to hold it, I have a hold, so I can just let go of that. I also then have a, a high cut, so I can effectively do like a, a band filter. Um, what I have here on, uh, it's not a channel that I have on the volumes, but it's, it's called Steam, and it's effectively the channel 10. And 
You can see it on the uh, far outside of Ableton. It's just a bunch of brown blocks. And that is effectively just white noise. So, you know, it just always works well in a club. If you want to get some hands in the air, you put in a bit of white noise. You get the point. I mean, it's just another element to make the loops roll over and give you some more control, make the track sound a bit more interesting in a club, get everybody crazy and screaming. Um, on the master effect again, I have flange. Let me take the bottom out, because flange in the bass never sounds too great. the reader. So there I'm master, that's my master effects, these are my send effects, and then you have my mixer. On the mixer also, let me just show you, I do have the opportunity to mute channels individually rather than using the volume faders. I can bring them in this way. But you know what I find? That the really fantastic thing about the lemur, these can be faders, but they can also be buttons. It's the same thing. It's like a button. Obviously, below the mutes, also, we have the solo. Ideas, but again, you can you can make tracks up as you go along, and it gives you a really great chance to manipulate the audio in real time. Uh, so this is my send effects, but this is per channel. So before this was like a group channel thing, and this is now per channel. So I can then here's my hold button again. I can hold. And now I'm applying the, the beat, re beat repeats just to the clap. Let me take that kick out. And I can do that eventually to the hats as well. Like the reverb. My other delay, but I won't put two delays on, that'll be a bit too much. Now here's a, a filter delay that I have. So you've got, I've got my little envelope controller over here. And then I can drop in the kick. And you get the idea, you know, it's, it's just another way to, again, keep the loops going. The, the advantage here is by holding them, you can apply things at different levels individually to those tracks. You know, this gives me a greater freedom to work within each track. Um, I also then have a master delay effect uh, and a master beat repeat effect, which, to be honest with you, work very similar to the original screen, the beat repeat. It's almost like just kind of putting everything up. It's not, not, it's just a slightly different sound because it's a different plugin.